a weapon that can uh, locate, uh, choose, and attack a human target, um, those already exist. I think in the not too distant future, technological change will force humans out of the loop. The action will be happening just too quickly for a human to interfere. We are speaking about lethal weapons, uh, killer robots. Uh, if they are not controlled by human beings, I think they will create a much more unstable, insecure world. For example, Israel has a missile called the Harup missile, where uh, you specify a geographic region, you specify a targeting criterion, which could be, you know, looks like a tank or looks like a bus. Um, and then it flies around that region until it sees something that meets the targeting criterion and then it destroys it. There's another interesting uh, point to make here, which is about escalation. Now those decisions about escalation and coercion have always been made by humans. But in a not too distant future, machines will play a part in that. So when does a machine decide to escalate or to back down. And nobody really knows at the moment how that will play out, especially if it's machine versus machine, and those decisions are being made very quickly, and there might be nuclear weapons involved. If a machine can do your killing uh, for you with no human supervision, then you can have as much killing as you like. You can have millions of weapons launched and still all the same three guys in a truck uh, defining the mission and, and launching the weapons. And so in that sense, they're a weapon of mass destruction. With these weapons, you could simply kill all of the males between you know, 12 and, and 60, uh, and then you have an intact city or an intact country uh, with the, the non-threatening part of the population still left. AI, I think, particularly AI operating in swarms, gives a tremendous advantage to offensive action, to going first, being the first side to make a move in conflict. So you can send a swarm of killer robots against your enemy without any risk of personal losses on your own side. The attraction of a swarm of drones, I think, is that it can be dispersed and therefore hard to target and then can rapidly come together to deliver firepower. It makes it much easier to declare war, uh, while you do know that if you use nuclear weapons, it might be self-destructive. Nuclear weapons are a tremendously strong deterrent. They're the most powerful defensive weapon systems we know. And that has brought a certain degree of stability to nuclear confrontation. The idea that if you attack a nuclear state, it can retaliate against you with tremendous force. AI, I think, works the other way around. The advantage here is for the offensive. This is what keeps me up at night, worrying about this development. Could you say that we are at the beginning of an arms race? I think we are, yes. So there is a there's real urgency to, uh, to try to stop this before it's too late. The problem is, if your potential adversary is less squeamish than you about keeping the human in that decision-making loop, their system will go faster than yours and you might well lose. When you think about a human fighter pilot trying to compete with an automated system, you know, the automated system has no limits on acceleration. A human pilot blacks out above a certain acceleration. Um, the planes can be lighter and faster and they have reaction times that are far faster than those of a human pilot. So I think, uh, you know, human pilots would have no, no chance. Killer robots, they, they don't get tired, so you can endlessly uh, continue uh, warfare. With autonomous weapons, things would happen in minutes, seconds, hours, you know, much faster. Um, and the, because the decision-making capacity would be so much greater, uh, it would be all attack all the time. In the 90s, it took uh, NATO six months uh, to take decisions uh, on operations in the Balkans. When we operated in Libya, we spent six days 
Maybe in the future you have six minutes or six seconds. I hope that the international community will, uh, will ban these weapons because it seems to me inevitable that that is the direction things will go if we don't ban these weapons. Politicians worldwide should focus on it and eventually adopt uh, a convention uh, that prohibits production and use of autonomous weapons. I don't yet see that coming into effect for AI and I think it's really difficult to envisage that it will.